Africa project is all about uh, water sanitation and hygiene to be implemented in four LGS of Borno and Yobe State. Two in Yobe and two in Borno. For Yobe is uh, Gaidam and Unisari. For Borno is Mobak and Gubio LGS to assist those affected with conflict. around the communities you will see we even where there were existing boreholes the boreholes were you know filled with explosive and blown up and then filled stuck with stones and sand so this was the general situation around most of the communities the sanitation practice is very low Mostly because of rural communities, uh, uh, practice of education, which really affects their health and which to make the children to be malnourished. And the communities we are actually implementing, we selected those communities based on some cases. We went to health facilities, did stable assessment, and then went into the communities to do direct assessment. When we started this CLTS, no, firstly we start with hygiene promotion. So we the ladies normally went to the house, we gather the women, we talk to them about hygiene promotion. Firstly, we will not check the environment. If there is any dirty there, then we will not stay down and talk to them and tell them the effects of that Dati at first, as we were talking about hygiene messages, we are giving them hygiene messages. The first answer they will give you is, we don't have water to change our test. How can we get our bag? As people were returning, what you notice is where they find water, sometimes in open wells that are unprotected, sometimes from collected runoff from rains and all that were the major sources of water. <laughs> A community will stay for like two days before you are allowed to go and get water. And you have to travel like 180 kilometers away from your own community to uh, where you can get the water in the water. I'm going to go to the water and get the water in the water. They will say this community, Kinari community, will uh, have to come and take water today by 2 a.m. And if you miss that time, it means for the whole week you cannot get water. To am I in Zuda? I am going to action Angwa Dedao. I am going to Muka Bahi Gwemba. Muka Yadinkai. I am going to Bofal Luaya Wadatu. Muna Sha. Muna Wanki. Muna Wanki Tupatiwar. The one Kaga Bad Yari. Garu Musuna Himadlar. Kumaru Ananda. I am going to Muna Yati Miki. I am going to Tung Aridia. Before our intervention with the CLTS Committee of Total Sanitation, actually the women, they have to, even if they want to defecate, they have to hold on to it. Unless night falls, they can go into the bushes to defecate and it is not safe. They used to see uh, having a latrine at your house is like a taboo. Before, you cannot be able to enter some of the communities. 
because of the activities of the people in the community, they use certificate anywhere. If you go to those communities, the first thing you see is all the notification. Because we went through CLTS by accident questions and they gave us the answer and, and then I decide on what Maybe to do. While you are doing transit, you definitely see a notification. So if you come, as they are doing the community mapping, they will map that open notification out for you. So you will be asking, what is this uh, village head house, school, what, what, what? Okay, you forgot one thing. As we are going, as, um, during the transit walk, we saw something on the way to the river. We didn't mention that. Oh, oh they will feel disgust. So as, once they feel disgust, so you know that, they have been treated. Out of these 40 communities, almost 39 communities have attained ODF. And for the latrine construction, most of the households have built their own latrines. And if you go, they will show you a lot of times the appreciation that before all their savings, they will farm, their savings goes into buying medicines, goes for diarrhea, 